When I was about 12 years old, my dad uh, showed me a, an article from a newspaper and it said, you can see the planet Mars. And I knew the planets existed, but I'd never really considered looking at them and I'd never considered that you could see them with the naked eye. So I was absolutely amazed when I went outside uh, and had a look and there was this little red star up there. And I can just remember being absolutely captivated and amazed by it. I think one of the most embarrassing things for cosmologists and astronomers is that we don't know what about 96% of the universe is made of and the dark matter and the dark energy that make up um, part of the universe uh, is incredibly embarrassing because we don't know what any of that is. When I go to a school, when I go to a public lecture and, and I meet people who aren't involved in astronomy but are just so enthusiastic, it's such a rewarding buzz and when I get to inspire young people who then write to me afterwards and say you've really inspired me, you've, you've, you've made me want to study astronomy at university, I just think that's incredibly rewarding and I, I love it. So in my spare time, which I don't have much of actually, uh, I like r long distance running. Uh, it helps me clear my head after a long day in the office. Uh, it helps get me out to into nature. And the good thing about running is you just chuck on a pair of shoes and you can pretty much go anywhere. So it's very remote. Uh, it takes about 24 hours to get there in all from Sydney. You can actually see um, just thousands of stars and you can see a band of light, the Milky Way, across the sky. Uh, you can see the large and small Magellanic clouds, the galaxies that live near us. And uh, it's, a, it's an absolutely incredible, breathtaking sight. Well, you're a